really tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how, how have you done this? You've gone from zero to hero very, very quickly. You're a company trainer. So um, your background, please. Okay, yeah. Well, thank, thanks for the lovely uh, introduction as well, Rob. I don't really feel like much of a superstar, but thank you. It's just, okay. That's really yeah. lovely to hear, particularly with like homeschooling and nutty stuff going on right now. It's uh, yeah, crazy old times, but um, but no, it's all good. So yes, I mean, you know, from where I started, as as Rob said, we all start with zero customers and zero partners, and um, yeah. So my background was primary school teaching. Uh, I did that for, so I qualified in 2001, so I was teaching for about 17 years in total and uh, thanks to this wonderful business I've been able to say goodbye to it completely uh, but how that kind of happened was I was introduced by Alex Roberts to the business. I was living in Norwich, uh, I know Jonathan's on the call and I do miss our pizza Tuesdays and being there because it was just yeah the Norwich lot were absolutely great and uh, you know really helped me have a great start but uh, I moved there for my then husband's job so I didn't really know anybody, didn't have any family that way obviously made uh, made friends along the way with uh, baby groups and stuff like that and uh, yes I had a conversation with Alex who was my hairstylist at my wedding back in 2007 so that was the connection that we had so that was what nine nine or ten years uh, before before she actually called me wow. and uh, it was really bizarre she was asking whether she could use some of my photos on her website and uh, I think I jokingly said something like, you might not want to because we're going through a divorce. And uh, she was like, oh my God, let me call you. You know, So she rang and um, I'm going to be honest, it was probably about 15 conversations later and a couple of months later. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very yellow and I think I naturally just, um, I have to think things over quite a lot. <laughs> and particularly my situation, because I was kind of finding myself as a single mum on my own I just needed to be careful about what I was doing I guess and uh, so yeah about 15 conversations later a lot of ignored calls uh, I'm uh, <laughs> afraid to say but then I thought what have I got to lose and um, and I gave it a go I think uh, you might remember Rob it was the time when we had 10 the golden tickets 10 pounds yeah. so I was a 10 pounder uh, <laughs> I was a ten pounder, yeah, and I thought for ten quid, what what have I got to lose here? And and did it, started it, and um, I'm going to be honest, I enjoyed it, but I didn't have a cracking start like we're seeing now with a lot of people. So I was, um, my mum and dad were my first customers, uh, thankfully, and then I think it took me about four months to get six customers. So I definitely wasn't, uh, you know, a high flyer, let's put it like that. And uh, the lovely Gary Murray was an absolute fantastic support to me because I didn't really have any face-to-face -face support up there. Yeah. So uh, he used to meet with me and say, Danielle, just stop saying that, for God's sake. Well, that's, that's why everybody's thinking about it. Don't say that, say this. And uh, after a good bit of training there and just really plugging into the systems, you know, that we have in place. So just following the training, following what, you know, successful people were doing, I um, I actually got more people to say yes. Which was what, what kept you motivated to do it? Because as you said, you're going through divorce, you joined for 10 quid. There was no, what I mean, there was no real sense of urgency. I suppose you're doing it to kind of please Alex and then, you know, you kind of joined. What kept you going to the training and wanting to make a success of this? I think it was probably the people if I was honest so I think it was um the connections I realized everybody was lovely and uh, and it was kind of weird initially because I thought why is everybody so willing to help me and and I think from a teaching background that was not what I was used to at all so I think I loved the connections uh, the events I'd obviously met Rob as well uh, so that was about four months in uh, after meeting at the kickoff January kickoff which was my first event and I think having him there as well I was kind of a bit like this is actually really good I could see from him that this could be a success and I think that probably drove me a, a bit more I'm also one of these people if I'm not very good at something I kind of want to make myself better at it I just don't, <laughs> don't really like to uh, you know fail at stuff so I just thought I've got to get better and, uh, and make this work and I guess I could see the potential that, <clears throat> that was there and yeah. and that everyone was so willing to help was was great Okay, so when you say you got better, was that better at scripts or better at, at organisation or? 
Yeah, I think it was more the appointment. So um, there was a lot of things I was probably just not saying right at the start. I know what I was doing, actually. I was getting to that bit where you go, you go past the energy quote and then yeah. I'd go, so um, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and Gary was like no don't say that don't say yeah. that Danielle so it was things like that and just you know to taking on board things like oh my god this is a no-brainer isn't it these savings are fantastic great you're happy well let's let's crack on then and it was just being more like that and more natural with it which yeah. I think comes with the more more practice you do but yeah. I also think you've got to analyze it's it's all well and good saying yeah yeah keep you know keep doing and keep doing them you'll get the customers you'll get the customers if you're not saying the right thing it won't happen so right. you know you've got to look back and go look you know can i change this if i change this here is it going to make a difference so yeah. i do think i was i was constantly kind of looking at what i was doing and thinking how can i improve it and how can i make it better well it's fantastic because it is about improvement i mean i've been doing this nearly 25 years and i'm always listening to other people going that's a really good one line or i could use that or say that or or even top tips about managing my business whether it's um social media or my diary or something i think we can all pick up on things so um, personal customers how many do you have danielle I've got 216 personal wow. customers. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it kind of just went. <laughs> once, wow. I've got, once I knew what I was doing and I kind of went with it. And I know Jonathan was a great help with the winner minis. I know we did a couple of winner minis up in Norwich, which which was brilliant because once I started getting into those, I could really see, uh, you know, the customer base just increasing then. And is that and where think, you most of your customers from, is it? I would say probably uh, I'm not very green, so I don't uh, know the exact figures, but I think majority are winner minis. Very closely behind that is referrals, um, and then warm list is next. I don't I don't do many neighbour letters. I'm going to be honest. But well, you have uh, done it. I've done it. I've done it, and we've had I've had success with it. I yeah. just feel um, the winner minis are more for me out of the two. Uh, they yeah. just feel more more comfortable, I guess, for me. Which so I know. Now we're not doing winning minis at the moment. How yes. are you getting your customers? Oh yes, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we were talking a bit, bit about this yesterday, Rob, weren't we? And I was just saying that um, I actually didn't, I got six customers last month, which, uh, you know, I'm probably normally around eight to 10. So, um, you know, every month. But uh, so I, I was, I was actually quite pleased because we hadn't had the, um, you know, the, the ability to go out and do the winner minis. So what I found was I've gone back to a lot of people who are my warm list, who once you start going cold market, you seem to just kind of avoid all those people that you know. It's like, oh no, I'll just go that way now, not this way. So I kind of went back and thought, actually, it's those people here who don't even know what I do. So I went down the practice line um, and, and people know I'm really untechy anyway, which really helped because I just yeah. use this We've got this new system in place. I've really got no idea what I'm doing. And uh, if I could just practice on you, it would be great. It would really help me out. And from that, I got th three or four of those customers were just from practice ones. And also I did do a lot of practice ones that didn't come off as customers also. So it was, um, I spoke to you about this, Rob, didn't I? I just said, I think we just got to do more of what we would normally do to get yep. the results that we would normally get. So just a lot of calling, you know, calling back, wham forms um you know and a lot of those putting a lot of those practice appointments in place because you know they're not all going to come off uh people aren't necessarily knowing what you're going to show them about so i think we just need to bear that in mind so i have sat and made lots of calls um and i've had lots of appointments in who have not picked up the phone again and all those frustrations <laughs> i'm literally like oh, oh i'm so excited i've got a 3 p.m and then i'm like oh they didn't pick up the phone so yeah, we can all relate to that ah <laughs> uh, yeah you know it, it happens and i would also say well probably a big turning point for me uh was recruitment so i did recruit early on but i honestly had no idea what to do with them so i was almost scared when people joined the team and I was just kind of hoping that they would fumble their way through and, and get a customer, um, you know, with not a lot of support from me at all. And then I kind of looked at Alex and, you know, what other people do. And I thought, hold on, they're getting these people to QD and they're having success with this. So I just followed that the fast start plan that, uh, that was put in place. And that has been brilliant. I mean, that for me, it's just, um, you know, you get somebody in the team, whether you've recruited them or not, and you're on there getting their first six supported appointments in 
so I've just come off today. We've just got a new QD. He's only been in the team five days. Yeah. And uh, he did his online training within 24 hours and we just signed up his uh, third customer today. So, really? it, you know, it's, it, it's great. And I'm just finding that that's getting much quicker results and i'm actually finding it easier to work with other people with their lovely warm lists yeah. uh, than yeah. i am with my yeah. own customers right yeah. now <laughs> so. well that's good i mean when i try when we tried to speak yesterday you were literally all evening on supported appointments from your home with your team and i just thought that's great you know you can earn you know when you do the support appointment was it half an hour maybe an hour on the phone with them and you get paid a hundred pounds in there there's not many places you can get a hundred pounds an hour and then eventually we caught up about half past 10 last night. You've been supporting your team and okay, you're not doing appointments for yourself that, that day, but you still earn some money. But one of your girls has joined recently. Tell me about that. Remind that, that, me, Rob. That, that sales rep. Oh, Linda, Linda, yes. yes. Okay, so this is, this is a great... <laughs> Can I tell you the whole story, Rolf, from yeah. the bit I told you about Asda? Because this is this 30 is really... seconds. Oh, I've got 30 seconds. Right, great. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> so um, I didn't personally recruit Linda. She It was through uh, another team member. So it was really lucky I caught this Facebook post. So one of my team members had put on Facebook about how things were really bad because her husband wasn't earning any money. Now, obviously, she's in the business. She knows how much she can earn. She's just not very active at all. And um, a lady uh, posted on her post to say, oh, I know exactly how you feel. I'm not earning anything. I'm totally stuck. And there's me sitting there thinking, yeah, she's going to say, I've got something. Let me just show you about this. But no, instead, she tried to direct this lady to Asda because they had loads of jobs going, apparently. So I jumped on this and literally said, what are you doing? No, 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 let's show her about UW. Oh, she said, oh, I didn't think about that. So, uh, so we got an appointment in. And I supported her to sign up a new partner. Now, through this new partner, I got to meet Linda. And Linda is a very successful, uh, tra she has a travel agency business, which she runs from home. And she earns between 70 and 80,000 pounds a year selling holidays. So before this uh, crisis situation, she would not really have been looking for anything else. Yeah. But when I showed her, she said, Danielle, I need this. I cannot earn any money. She said, I cannot sell any holidays. Yeah. And, uh, and she's just gone with it. Uh, she got to QD really quick. We're on, I think we're on five customers now for her, uh, which is brilliant. So I've just helped her on, a, on an appointment today. It wasn't a sign up. We've just rearranged it for the weekend uh, when her husband can see it. Yeah. So yeah, but I just thought it's a great story because there are a lot of the people right now who they, perhaps they've even looked at this business before and it's not been for them because things were going pretty well in their life. And I just think now this is such an opportunity for people who may not have looked at this before. Timing, isn't it? Timing in life, you know, one minute everything's great, next minute it could be, well, as, as we know, you know, this virus has kicked off and just thrown everyone's lives in turmoil at the moment. Absolutely. Danielle, Danielle thank you, thank you, thank you. Now. Um, yeah. absolutely fantastic um 